Let's see what kind of comments we can get this time. <laughs> Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Dean Koontz Retro Review. Today, we are talking about the vision. Um, I got one of my favorite um, negative comments uh, over the past, I think, week. Uh, somebody commented on my Twilight Eyes <laughs> review that it wasn't a review, it was just me talking about semen <laughs> for however many minutes of the video. That's of course not the truth. But, uh, <laughs> it, it's funny what people latch onto. Um, now, I do talk about his over, his overuse of semen in the review, but, uh, I thought it was funny <laughs> that they would latch onto it. Uh, it's, like I said, the whole thing is not, I talk about the carnival aspects and all that stuff, but I thought it was funny that the only thing they latched onto was the same thing I latched onto. But, uh, today we have, uh, The Vision. Um, if you're new to my Dean Koontz reviews, I used to be a major fan of his, huge fanboy. I've read all of his stuff up until with anything post Ashley Bell. I, I, I rage quit Ashley Bell within like the first two or three pages because as soon as the dog was announced, I was I, I dipped out. I don't even think it was a dog character. I think he just mentioned a dog and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I haven't read the Jane Hawk series. I don't plan to. Um, but uh, with, with the vision, uh, with... With these retro reviews, I go back and review books that um, I've read and reread, but I have not recently read them. So if you're expecting an in-depth analysis, this, this ain't it, honey. You can, you can go on somewhere. Um, but with The Vision, I, I remember a couple of things, and if you're the type of person um, who thinks that my uh, Twilight Eyes review is only about semen, you're probably going to think that this one is only about jazz because that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, I remember very specifically, I don't remember a thing about this book. Not a thing. I went back and read my review, so we'll talk about one or two things in the spoiler section. But uh, I remember, what I do remember about this book is the mood that I was in while I was reading it. Um, I was listening to jazz because he mentions jazz in the book, um, and I was I, so I put on jazz records. I'm the same way with Haruki Murakami. Anybody else who brings up music, Stephen King. Um, that's why I uh, subscribe to Amazon Music so that I can just pull up that at any point in time that I'm reading somebody mentions music, I can load that music. Pretty awesome. Anyways, um, so I was listening to a lot of jazz while this was going on. Um, I think Miles Davis' Bitches Brew was on, and there's a couple other things. A couple of things in here that he mentioned that I, I don't remember now. I know looking up, that I know that I stopped and looked them up. Um, but you know how in movies like uh, back in the 80s and 90s, FX and Lethal Weapon and whatever, they always, even Howard the Duck, they always had a scene where there's like someone, you know, ruminating or you know, just kind of zoning out and there's soft jazz music playing. Usually it's a dude with no shirt on standing before a big window or something like that. Um, that's the vibe, that's the entire vibe that this book gave me, is a scene like that. Just some dude standing in a room without his shirt on, just kind of sipping some whiskey or sipping or drinking a bit, whatever. Um, and there's soft jazz music playing. That's pretty much Dean Koontz, period, during the down scenes. Um, during the scenes where there's no action happening, that's what it made, that's what it made me feel nostalgic for. Where you go and find movies like FX, uh, which I love, it's one of my favorite movies. Um, and FX and Lethal Weapon and th those, those type of flicks, you know. Uh, maybe even a, a Bruce Willis movie from back then kind of deal. Um, but with the vision, other than that, I don't remember anything about this book. Not a single thing. Um, but there is something funny that I will mention in the spoiler section of the book um, that I don't even remember reading about now. Um, completely blocked it out. So maybe I didn't have a right to complain. I'm going to let you guys decide whether or not I had a right co to complain in my Goodreads review because I forgot all about it. If it was that big of a deal and I forgot about it, maybe the person who it happened to forgot. You know, that kind of thing. I don't know. But, uh, so... Have you read The Vision? I don't know what else to say about this, so I'm trying to get to the, the spoiler section at the end of the video. Have you read this? Uh, what did you think of it? Do you remember it 
at all whatsoever. I don't know. I've seen some people when I, um, on my reviews for some odd reason, there's a several of you, um, who anytime I post one of these videos, all you do is just comment with the title of the book. Uh, I guess, I don't know if it, because you want to see it, because you think it's better than, you know, you want to see me review it, you just want to say the name of the title, title. I have no idea, I have no context. You just going, uh, lightning or intensity doesn't <laughs> doesn't help me at all. I don't know what you're talking about. So give me a little more, you know, to go on than just intensity. <laughs> Unless you're just trying to be intense and then intensity. Whatever. Anywho, so if you read the vision, uh, if so, let me know down there in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, if you hated it, tell me why. If you liked it, tell me why. Don't just go, it was amazing or it sucked. I want to know. I want to start a conversation with you. Maybe, possibly, if you don't want to start a conversation, then, then, of course, just put intensity. <laughs> just spam the chat down there. Fuck it. Just spam the chat. Intensity. I didn't got the giggles. So until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another retro review. Kind of. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Well, I can't very well take my hat off. You know, and I keep seeing people go, oh, your hair looks so nice. Stop covering it up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to. The only reason I'm not wearing In fact, you probably see it now. The sweat glistening all over my body. No, um. The, uh. The only reason I don't have a beanie on now is because it is super, super hot. Um, it took me like an hour to get my hair to to stay down because um, it's not naturally curly, but it's naturally like... You know those like uh, old southern preachers, uh, the old white dudes where it looks like they have a fro, but it's literally just a helmet of hair slicked back? Oh, I'm so hot. I, I gotta wrap this up. So, the, uh, ah, good lord. I'm just raining all of a sudden. I hit my, my peak heat. What? <laughs> okay, um, so in in my review, uh, the spoilers, spoilers for The Vision by Dean Koontz. Um, if you haven't read The Vision, uh, GTFO, if you, you have or you don't care about spoilers, hang out with me. Um, I guess there's a scene in here where a woman is abused as a, as a youngster and she has a bat stuffed up her vagina. Vagina? Vagina? Vagina. Her vagina, y'all. <laughs> A bat stuffed up her vagina by her brother. And she just completely forgets about it. Like, completely, <laughs> just completely whiffs from her memory. Um, I said in my review that I don't believe that she would just completely forget about it. You know, it's, it's one thing to block something and bury it and whatnot. But she goes on to live, continue living with the brother in the same location uh, where it happened. This is what I said in my review. I could be completely wrong. I don't believe that she'd be able to bury it that far or completely forget about it. Um, maybe, maybe, but, but to have continued living with him and have buried it. I don't, I don't think those are, those are things, being around your abuser. Oh, Lord Jesus. Sorry, I got the, the hiccups. Um, but being around your abuser makes it really, really hard to forget anything. I know from experience, so I, I'm oddly enough, I, 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 I don't believe that. Maybe you do. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, but here I was, I forgot about the scene completely. So, I mean, I guess there'd be a little more emotional, there'd be a lot more emotional impact had it actually happened. To me, but I didn't even remember reading about it. So, um, but let me know down there. Do you think that someone can bury, uh, if bury something like a bat being stuffed up your nunu, um, by your brother, if you have continued to live with that brother? Let me know down there in the comments below. That's all I remember about this book. I don't remember anything else. I remember reading it with my good friend Dealey, um, who I reread all the Kuhn stuff with. Y'all, I am sweating my arse off. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't wait until <laughs> I can't wait until somebody comments on this one. This wasn't a book review. This was just you talking about trash. <laughs>